governor did when he was here, he wanted to make sure that those who under the law are able to be constitutionally denied access to the weapon, like someone who is adjudicated not capable for the, because of their mental capacity, and or convicted felon, and or someone who has been guilty of domestic violence, under the law, um, they are not allowed to own a weapon, and they're able to be denied ownership of a weapon. One of the problems that was pointed out here is that uh, there was an adjudication of the young man who committed the crime at uh, uh, Virginia Tech, uh, and uh, yet he was able to go out and, uh, and purchase uh, two weapons uh, about a month apart, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so uh, we talked about the notion of a universal background check. We talked about the notion of making sure that states equip the NICS, that is the system in Washington that has all the prohibited persons on a file. So when you go to a uh, um, go go to a, uh, a gun dealer or, or, or Dick Sporting Goods to buy a weapon. You essentially swipe your card, uh, and they swipe it for you, in effect, and find out whether you're part of the prohibited class of people. And so we talked a lot about that. Uh, but we also talked a great deal because we have uh, um, uh, three people here with uh, one uh, psychiatrist, two others who have done a great deal of study on behavioral um, attitudes uh, toward uh, of, uh, of those who commit violent crimes. Um, and we talked about the need to expand mental health capacity across the country. We talked